Today I'd like to discuss our medical system's poor track record for treating pain. This was brought to my attention because of a recent report from the CDC's National Center for Health Statistics that showed in 2008 accidental deaths from prescription painkillers had surpassed deaths from automobile accidents in the United States. Now the reason for this is there's a huge river of, pres of prescription pain medications being produced and distributed in the United States through a broken medical system. I was attending a recent medical conference where a doctor that teaches a revolutionary technique for treating chronic pain mentioned how he was a fourth generation primary care physician. When he looked back to see what his great great grandfather had used for pain treatments, it basically came down to preparations from willow bark and the opium poppy. As it turns out, these are the origins of all our present day drug treatments like the, the aspirin like NSAID drugs and the multitude of addicting synthetic opioid drugs. So put another way, our treatment of pain has not changed much in 200 years. Now sure, we've developed techniques to deliver these drugs deeper and deeper into the body, such as opioid pumps and injections of the steroid uh, anti-inflammatories. They're very powerful in their effect. But as with most modest, modern medicine techniques, these treatments ignore the root causes of pain, and they have many side effects. And they have complications. And in the case of the spinal injections, they only give short-term relief. And for all the potential catastrophic complications, like paralysis and death, short-term relief doesn't seem that great. Now you might ask, why are the steroid epidural injections so popular despite giving minimal benefit with only short-term relief and to risk these dangerous side effects? Well, the answer lies in the money. These treatments are covered handsomely like, by payers like Medicare and the commercial insurance companies. The old adage applies here. If you pay people to do stuff, they will do more stuff. Now the drug companies in the failed Western medicine paradigm are the cause of our poor record of any advancement in pain treatment. Now, according to the International Association of the Study of Pain, 43% of Americans have chronic or recurring pain. Now, 20% of people have chronic moderate to severe pain. One half to two thirds of these people are unable to exercise. They don't enjoy normal sleep. They can't perform household chores. Some can't even drive a car or even walk and many cannot even have sexual relations. 39% of those with chronic pain stated that their pain is inadequately managed by the medical system. Now the economic burden of chronic pain is equivalent to the burden of cancer and heart disease. Now in my next vlog, I will go over a new theory and a common cause of chronic pain with a simple solution that I'm using in my practice every day. 